Yo guys, what's up? It's Phil from Prodigy Productions and I'm welcoming you to a new Adobe After Effects tutorial. First of all, I'm really sorry about my bad English. I know it sounds like, yeah, like retard, like a foreign faggot, I know. But anyway, I hope I can teach you something or either you can learn something. Okay, first of all, we go to the composition and make a new comp. We call this comp main comp we do it 1920 by 1080 29 comma 976 frames per second sec 16 seconds long and we hit ok so that's our main comp and again we go to make a new comp we call this text comp we make it 498 by 112 and we hit ok now we can close that for now and bring our text comp into our main comp and we can open up our text comp and type in a text okay now we can center that text now we're going to create a new solid make that one white and hit OK click on the shape tool and draw a shape a, red, a rectangle shape we go to the mask properties and we go forward to two seconds we hit the stopwatch for the mask path make sure the mask is completely on the left moving out of the comp we go forward to about six seconds and move the complete mask one time through the whole composition on the right so as you can see here it should look like this Okay, now we're going to bring the mask expansion a little bit down and the mask feather a little bit up. And now we're going to our text track mat and change that one from non track mat to alpha mate white right, solid. So what that does, it it uh, does a shape of our text, and that's what we want. It looks a little small here in our main comp, but that's okay. Now we go into our project window and select our text solid, uh, sorry, our text comp, go to edit, duplicate or control D. And we call the second one a midder type. We bring that one also in our main comp go in our emitter type and we can delete the white solid make another white solid hit ok we hit s for the scale and we change 100 to yeah something like 108 or something it should be a little bit bigger than the comp and we hit p for the position set the keyframe on two seconds so right here should be a keyframe and we go forward to about six seconds and move the whole white solid on the right out of our comp and we shut off the eye right here and see what we are done so that what we need in our main comp so your main comp should look like this for now okay that's okay so let's start with a light in our composition we gonna create new light we want to make a spotlight and the color should be white hit OK and yes hit a motion blur for the comp on also here in our text comps we gonna change this ones with the motion blur on and also here and also we want to create our texts in 3d space so check that out and also in our comps we want to make this one 3d okay and we can yeah that's okay for now okay now we are going to make some changes with our light First of all, we go to the transform section and we want to change our point of interest and that's where the light is shining to. Okay, so we change the 
the x, the y, and the z axis. So first we're going to change that one to about 900. And the x, y, the y to about 600. And the z we're going to hold down shift for faster. Um, about 580, that should be okay. Uh, we also go and change the position of the light. So where the main light is, uh, change that to maybe 980 on the X, uh, 520 on the Z, and negative 160 on the Z. So that's okay for now. We go to the light options and we're changing the intensity and we go here to about two seconds. We change the intensity to 70%. We hit the stopwatch, go to the beginning and change that one to zero. That's okay. Now we want to change the cone angle of our light to 180 degrees. And we want to change the cone feather from 50 to 100. And we're going to change the cast shadows to on. And the shadow darkness to zero. And the shadow diffusion to 50. That's okay for now. We are done with our light. Now we want to make a new camera. So make camera 35 millimeter. Okay. And now we want to create a new background. We are going to create a new solid. Make that one white and call it background. Hit okay. Move this one on the bottom of our comp and make it 3D. So as you can see, if we make this one 3D, you can see what our light is doing in our comp. But that's not the background we need for this one. So we gonna make some changes in the transform section. Uh, first of all, we wanna change the position of our background. We wanna change the the y axis to from 540 to 600 maybe 60 62 whatever and we want to change the scale from 100 to 600 so we make this come pretty pretty big as you can see now we want to change the z rotate the x sorry the x rotation from 0 to negative 90 degrees and now you can see there's some magic happens we we just made our our solid a little kind of flat and that gives us a great look in our comp and yeah that's a cool background Okay, we are now done with the basics. We had our two text layers right here. By the way, we can shut off our text layer. And yeah, we have our light, our cam, and our background. So the basic stuff, what we need, we have. And in part two of this tutorial, you can see where the magic reel happens with Trapcode Particular.